Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this game that I'm playing. Buy something or leave, okay? Later, losers.
you get your Space Girls comic book thingy? Uh, Cosmic Mega Babes? Yeah, but they only had the standard edition cover. Ugh. I could barely bring myself to read it three times. We can't find Yamada. Anywhere else he might be? He also hangs around the construction site. But if you go there, be careful. Why? Because it's a construction site. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks and stuff. Anytime! I mean, like, literally anytime. My life is pretty boring. Please, enter! We have only the finest goods. Until we meet again. Construction site? It's so yucky. <laughs> Yo, Magic Boy! You up there? My name's not Magic Boy! He's up there. Come on, let's go beat some info out of him. <laughs> Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. It, rooftops can be lairs. Whatever, we're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them, do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky poo? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax, I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were. A long time ago. What's happening? <sighs> it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. I was ten years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But, as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. Hey. His name was Kunio, and he seemed nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Kunio and I became best friends. <laughs> we read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. Life was good. Aw, see, that's sweet. Only because Kunio's in it. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Kunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Kunio was already there. And so was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Or Kunio, maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge on Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later, in middle school. Okay, we get it. Jeez. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, 
I would never again be. Okay, wait up. Love of your life. You barely met the girl. Did he even meet her? Wait, yeah, did you even meet her? Love needs no introduction. That's not how love works. Listen, freak show. I don't care about your childhood, your crush on trash queens, or any fakey magic tricks you learned. We're looking for Kunio. And Ricky. And Ricky. So either tell us who took him, or stop wasting our time. <laughs> you girls are all the same. We look nothing alike. Always insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. You know, part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew. Try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, because it's spooky. Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are. I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try uptown. Sometimes I hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's weird. And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy.
Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Peace. I am out. Such a lust for revenge!